What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. I am currently enjoying my vacation in Finland without much internet, so because I didn't really have anything else to do, I decided to give a little side project a go. I created a tool using which I can convert a schematic file to a replay recording of somebody building this schematic. The schematic which I'm using to demonstrate this tool is called Modern House 2 and the download link and the link to the creator can be found in the video description. The schematic only contains information about the blocks themselves, there's no more information about how and when they were placed. You can create and import schematics to your Minecraft world using MC Edit. the link to that is in the video description as well. The way this tool works is as follows. First of all, it takes all of the blocks in the schematic and divides them into two groups, building blocks and fancy blocks. Their block type decides in which of those groups they fit in. Blocks like glowstone, fences and ice are fancy blocks, while blocks like wooden planks, quartz and stone are building blocks. As a second step, the tool searches for all of the blocks which need a supporting block next or beneath them, for example lily pads, torches or reed. The tool remembers all of the blocks which are supporting blocks to assure that these are being placed before the blocks which need support. As a third step, the tool searches for connected blocks of the same type. It runs over every block in the schematic which does not need support and repeats the following procedure. First of all, it has a look if the block next to it in the positive x direction is of the same block type. If it is, it moves to that block and repeats the same step. If the block in the positive x direction is not of the same block type, it rotates by 90 degrees clockwise and looks for the next block there. It keeps rotating until it finds another neighbor block of the same type. If it finds a block, it moves to that block, resets the direction in which it's looking and repeats the previous steps. If it does not find a block, after checking all of the six neighbor blocks, it realizes that it found a dead end. In that case, it moves back the route it has taken block by block and continues looking in the next direction. These steps are repeated until it has reached the beginning of the route again and there are no more blocks to be found. Once the tool has found all of the connected structures in the schematic, it sorts the structures so the lowest structures are placed first and the dummy player who has to build and move between those structures later has to move the shortest way possible. Finally, I am generating a replay file of the player actually building this structure and for that I am using some Java magic which Johnny0702 who is the second programmer on the replay mod and I have prepared earlier. And that's about it, I hope that you enjoyed this short little theoretical video on my newest side project which I just wanted to show you. I wanted to thank Johnny0702 who is working really hard to fix bugs on the replay mod while I cannot really help him because I'm on vacation, you know. And all of the moderators which are helping to run the replay mod website. You all are awesome. To all of my viewers, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!